I strongly believe Albert's research must stop. Ah, light! We can't build the future on your empty optimism. Say what you will. I cannot agree to this. Please listen. No, you listen to this. At every turn, you've ignorantly blocked my research. Mr. Yourself. I see the committee is in agreement. And so, the department chooses Thomas Light's research into robots with independent thought. Thank you, everyone. Why? Why are you fools so blind? One day, Light! One day the world will know I was right all along! Bad memories make the worst dreams! A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Wait. That research from my youth. <laughs> yes! Now I'll show you light! Hello, and welcome to Mega Man 11. It's been a while. And I'm going to admit, <laughs> it has been a very long time since I've actually played this game. So let's get into it. Yes. Right. I think we should do Fuse Man. Yep, we're getting back into it. I haven't played this game in nearly a year, I guess. I love this uh, new thing that uh, you can do in this game. Oh. Come on. I can see why a lot of people actually loved Mega Man, like, as a whole. Oh, come on. Ow. <laughs> I do like the uh, the sound of the, um, the rapid fire of this um, plasma buster. Or this uh, mega buster. I am not doing very well right now, especially with my health. Ow. Ow. Oh, I hope, um...
Okay. Damn it. I'm gonna climb it. Ah, damn it. Oh, you <laughs> damn it. Need you there. Great! Hey you! I'm going to die again, aren't I? Ow. Yep. <laughs> That's annoying. Oh my god, skip. I've got the, um... I've got the gears. He's gone.
I don't know what the bolt's about. Or the nut's about. Well, I should say bolt, really. Yeah, clever. A little shit. It's just going to keep repeating itself. It's going to be interesting. Ow. Ah, oh, you bastard! It's okay, because I can try again. It's not like it's going to be the fourth time in a row. I didn't even, oh, I didn't even spot it. At least I got through it. Oh, you bitch! Trouble is, you can't actually see 
you can't actually see where they're coming out. I just can't always see where they're coming out, they. Especially from a certain angle. Damn it. Okay. This one's gonna be a bit of a bitch to take out. Oh no, it's the boss, it's the boss fight. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get through that. Again, finally, especially after a second try. I haven't played Mega Man in a very while, long time, so like, I know I've said it before, but it's quite cool that I can get it to play it again. Okay. Okay. Ah. Yeah, interesting. Mm. 
Doctor, is something wrong? The double gear system. It was so very long ago. It was on that day, Wiley and I had our falling out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gears. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. By giving robots independent thought, they could be true partners to humankind at last. Naive as always. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable speed, it's only when we build robots with the power to outdo humans that people will truly accept robots for what they are. And with my double gear system, we can make that dream a reality. With this installed, any robot can instantly become a hero. However, I was strongly opposed to Wiley's ideas and research. The double gear system, it puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. Mm. At the time, a committee was convened. And Wiley's research was cancelled. In favor of my independent thought research. Wiley never forgave me. And his views have grown ever more extreme since then. How ironic. That my efforts to quench Wiley's hot-headedness before it led him astray... ...only ended up fueling the fire. Doctor, I never knew. If only I'd shown him there was a way to work together... ...instead of just telling him that he was wrong. Maybe we'd still be friends. A way to work together. Even the double gear system can be a tool for good, if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Mm. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. He's all... Rush! Rush, help <laughs> Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. We've got this, Rush. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to understand what's going on here. Oh, okay. Rush coil, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Hmm.
Okay. I think we should try... A bit of bounce, man. Let's do that. Advantage. Hey! Look at that! Not a bad strategy, eh? Oh, that's not a bad strategy at all! Okay. Oh, I missed it. Hiya! 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 Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! No! <laughs> that was a bit weird. <gasps> what the fuck? Okay, a bit strange. <laughs> okay, <Bit> convoluted, <laughs> I think. I don't know what that's about. I like how it's just like a kind of a bull pit in a sense.
Oh, this is frustrating. Okay! What the fuck? in the um, in the end of it oh great <laughs> they've just respawned hey guys oh you bitch Uh, 
This is pain right there, right here. I am feeling pain. I am unsatisfied. I actually hate this mission. Oh yeah. Thank God. Except that game is a handful to push the air. Yeah, I can imagine. There's a chance I'm going to die here. <laughs> you should try this game, cuz. It actually kind of is. They're celebrating the... Um, this game kind of celebrates the, um, I think it's like the 40th anniversary, I think, like, or 20th, 30th anniversary, something like that. I know it was in the 30s they came, this game came out, but no, in the 90s. Don't go wrong, this level is pretty like it's impressive no it's um so i was um so this game is basically made from um capcom 
but Capcom was actually the ones who actually made uh, Mega Man and um, the better version of it as well, which was Mega Man X, which is one of my favourite games out of my childhood. So, a little while ago I actually made a video about it and um, I was like a massive, massive fan about it because like, um, you know, it put a lot of effort Yeah, I can. So I'm gonna have to die, aren't I? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to die, aren't I? So Rush is basically Mega Man's um, like second right hand man, which is basically his uh, support, uh, tactical support against uh, a professor that um, Dr. Light basically um, needs to be friends with as a student. And um, obviously, Dr. Light in this game is like around the 60s or something like that. So that's kind of why there's a lot of beef between, like, between the both parties. Yep, and I hate these fuckers. What the fuck is that? Right. Rush now! Oh, here we go. Now we've got his offspring! Yay! Ah. It's also a frustrating boss. <laughs> You'll see why, because this guy is called Bounce Man, and I and um these like these cybernetics have kind of like gone like this has kind of like made these robots insane because like he made uh, robots with in like I'm talking about Dr. Light here which is basically the man who um, who made the robots with independent thought So frustrating with these these balls. <sighs> it actually makes me anxious, like actually play <laughs> occasionally playing these games. Uh Kaz, only you could say that.
There's a chance I will be. The fuck is that? Oh, come on, big guy! I believe in you. Don't, don't let it now. Oh, thank God. You fuck! Come on, buddy! Oh, thank you. Land indeed. Back off, you bitch. You should do like gaming again, Kaz. Pretty much, yeah. I have to like time it as well. Oh, you fuck. Oh, you. F oh, my God. Those balls. Like when they're bouncing between each other. God, they look so goofy as who. Like, look at me, big fat balls. I like to play with them. <laughs> yeah, she likes goggling them, but fucking hell, man. Chug, chug, motherfucker. No!
Right, I'll have to like, I'll have to time this as well. I mean, that's one way of putting it. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Feels painful. I mean, to the developers, they, they must have had so much fun doing this. I mean, fair play to the Japanese people who actually made this game. I'm sure she can, or he can. I bloody gun. Oh no, not again. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I thought he would be a he. People thought he was a girl because he was pink. No, you're right, actually. No, you have got a fair point. I never thought Kirby was a girl anyway. That's the thing. But, like, I did have to ask. But, like I say, I do like how Japanese people have actually made that, this, like these games, like, like retro games, games over the years. I mean, like... Mega Man came out in like 1983, something like that, so like, it's ga the gaming system's been around for a long time. I think it's old as that, actually, I'd just say. Capcom have been around for like, years. I hate gender roles, but I don't think pink is for good. Yeah, no, I agree, like, I think, um, I think it is actually like, I do, I do disagree. I think it, like about it as well. I think it is wrong that um, we do actually have like this girl and boy kind of crap. But like, the thing is, 
I think a lot of people are now starting to realise that it is actually a thing. Like, they are starting to change that. Like, they've start realised that girls are a little bit more manly than um, they are were supposed to be. To be. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like I said, like, some women, like, most women I, I knew only are good at makeup. I mean, like, I'm not being misogynistic, but, like, personally, I think women should have equal feelings about video games and mechanical stuff, like mechanics and all that stuff. I mean, the guy who actually plays um, as um, Green Arrow, his daughter helps him with the mechanic, like mechanical stuff. Even though he had a very serious accident and he's apparently lost his, um, I think it was both of his legs, he has to like have like something to help him out. No, I, dis I don't disagree. No, I don't disagree at all. Cad, I don't disagree at all. Like, you know, men are good at it as well, but like, I just don't like it. I don't, I've never liked the makeup in my personal view. Never liked it. I think uh, makeup, in my view, is a way to get pretty, obviously. But I think it's wrong that it's been forced upon young women. I, th I think that's what makeup is all about, and I think boys are the same. But it's their preference at the end of the day. If they want to be... If they want to have something to choose, then great. But if they feel different about it, then most people are going to feel that. It's going to be the same. Yeah, hey, how it... Uh, yeah. Please, but, like... There's no shame in, like, what you like and dislike. It's just frustrating to... to deal with. Yeah, without it, yeah, exactly. It is hard, because, like, all women want to do is get pretty. And that's all I've ever known. They want to get pretty. But over the years, I remember in my previous house, um, like, in my previous home, um, there was a lot of girls who just didn't like their bodies, didn't like, like, their, their bust, they didn't like their um, their bums. Didn't like their physique. Nothing. They didn't like anything. So like, there is a mental health problem in women, in general, and it is quite sad actually. It's quite worrying that a lot of women are actually feeling that way. And personally, they should not be feeling like exactly. But most women won't. Most women, in my view won't see that like that is why um, plastic surgery is involved and that's why you keep hearing it in the news because people and it is sad when I say this that most people who make these things no no I don't I again it, I don't disagree it's just again it's just how it's portrayed and it is sad as I think you're going to agree too that you just can't pick your own battles and like yeah and it makes them feel better about themselves but like and here's what upsets me the most because like I know it's going to sound very inappropriate towards the YouTube system, but I'm going to be honest with everybody. When you have a bust, like your breasts and things like that, I'm going to talk about it. Women have naturally breasts, right? So where I'm going with this is basically you've got to be comfortable what you have. It's like, say, like a man's penis, for example. 
You may not be happy with the size. You may not be happy with these things. But you can prove it. But that's what people are saying to each other. It's the same thing with the breast problem. You go and prove it. And that's what they want. And that is why plastic surgery is around. Because you've got all these things that are happening. So you've got like plastic surgery improving breasts, bums. I mean like look at look at Kim Kardashian for example. I mean one of our most beloved singer-songwriters from the very 90s and 80s, uh, Madonna, she ruined her face because she didn't like what she looked like as an old woman. All they prefer is to be looking young. And I think that's sad because it ruins how it looks. I mean, like, before she changed her face, I looked at her face before she actually changed it. She looked, she looked amazing. And now look at her. She looks like a wreck. And this is what... That's what upsets me about, like, a lot of things. And things do need to change in society, and I, I do believe that. But, like, when it comes to, like, you know, plastic surgery and your body and things like that, it's like... No, I don't either. And it, But I, I do understand that a lot of women actually... And I think a few men do the feel, feel the same way. Because, like, there is some good things about it. I'm going to be honest with you. There is actually some really, really good things about it. Because it actually can save a lot of people's lives. Like, they, um, they said that if someone had cancer, for example, they can put a plastic surgery into your breast. I mean, it's not always going to be, like, you know, it's not going to stay there for forever. But it... It protects the body. I mean, it, you can even keep your breasts. That's not a bad thing, but it's going to be a lot of money. But like, the point I'm trying to make is, it. You'll still have your bust on your breast and all that stuff, because that's just how, because that will keep your image. And that's what upsets me the most about women is because women believe that. Their image is terrible. Women's image is like different. And I'm not. And as, I get, as I say again, to anybody who's watching this, even in recording, like in the pre recording, it basically gets me thinking about what people think and what I see about it. What I believe is. It is actually true that a lot of people, personally, in my view, they need to actually, they need to not realise, but they need to see that their body is beautiful, their body is amazing, and I'm not saying in a sexual way, I'm saying it in a, like, um, in a more respectful way. Like, for example, Kaz. I don't actually, I'm not bothered, I'm not actually very bothered with your body. Like, you know, that's you for example. That is you in general. You are happy with who you are. Yeah. No, I'm just saying it to everybody outside. But like, I'm okay with your body. I don't, I'm okay with your image. Like, your image... It's gonna sound harsh. I think everybody is being in their own way. Exactly! Yeah, exactly. I, it's the same with me. So like I the same I, it's the same thing how I would say to you, but like do you know what I mean? Not not like um not in a inappropriate way. Or in a flirty way. Because like I'd rather say I know you're I know you're like um you're kinda like in the lesbian side of it. But like But again it, it is sad that women do feel that way. And a lot of women do, and it, it, it's because of this society. Because society has drained their confidence over time. 
and that's also what causes suicide in women it is actually quite scary it scares me more than anybody I've ever known like it does and that is what people need to remember these days like I bet you so suicide prevention is going to be less well yeah it's going to be less yeah in the yep two it's going to be like suicide pre prevention in the next half century from now is going to be worse than it was now i mean don't go wrong it's bad now but it's going to get far worse i bet you in a half century time i bet you it's going to get worse not because of the internet because the internet is brilliant but also it is it's scary because you look at the internet and you look at like you look at things like um the internet looking at like these gorgeous women wearing outfits wearing makeup bloody 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 blah i'm gonna say this to the internet yeah we get it i don't care i'm a man like it can be yeah yeah oh my god yes yes it is extremely dangerous online like it's terrible nowadays like like as you just said about tumblr it is terrifyingly dangerous and it's terrible because people do not want people like they look at their images and people mock them because they don't believe what they be what they want to believe and it's scary and to be honest all i want in a woman's society is all the best and happiness in their lives yeah yeah well i hope they took i hope down they i hope they actually did take down tumblr because that is a that is bad that is that is terrible especially when they're talking about eating disorders and romancing mental health and all that stuff that is terrible yeah no i mean like it is bad because like you're looking at mental health problems in a sense um no nah, yeah i bet you now it's worse than ever to be honest but probably like with less people i mean tumblr is from a like the early era and things like that so in case you're wondering what i'm doing i'm just having a little break is um because my anxiety was getting a bit uh, frustrating yeah so here's my this is going to sound inappropriate but but here's my preference to or my view to pornography yeah i had it in, in 2011 and i had it uh, yeah 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 i can imagine but like when you look at pornography for example pornography back in the day was actually really easy to get and it was like literally it was literally like it was like DVD, what buying a dvd or buying a um small videotape and if anybody doesn't know what i'm talking about it's basically like um it's a videotape is basically like um like this little rectangular box with uh, wheels wheel cogs in the center not in the center of the whole thing but like on each end of these little things and there were th these cogs were quite big and they were like basically if you make your hands into circles but it's like it like fingers into circles it's literally what it's like so like it's literally that was what it was on each end and it was like a little rectangular box and um and we would have like yes that's it vhs 
don't know if I had a VHS. I think I might have done because my mum did have a video player when I when she was younger. They're like, yeah, as I say, um, yep, yeah, that was a thing years ago. It's crazy, isn't it? Back in the day. But that's what I'm saying. Like, pornography was was used in that way years and years ago, and nowadays it doesn't. Now, I did do at uh, that's. I can't see the rest of the message, I'm afraid, Kaz. Yeah, you're talking about um, having a video player at to your dad's, wasn't it? Yeah. That's unsuitable. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought that's what you were saying. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, like, that, that's what I'm saying, like, um... Like, I had a, vi I had a uh, video player, and I used to watch, like, Transformers Armada. And I used to love watching that show. And it was one of the best shows I've watched in my childhood. But, like, I never watched the actual thing myself. And I never actually got to watch it until years later. And I think my mum might have bought a few, um, like, few things over the years um just for uh, for me to obviously entertain myself i used to watch some of the tank yep same yep same i used to watch um teletubbies god that was a uh, that was a bit of a council culture back in the day <laughs> people hated that show yeah yeah it's actually how I actually. It's actually not also how I got into into railways actually, because uh, a lot of people don't know me. I like know this. I actually am a I'm a railway enthusiast, and I absolutely know tons about railways, but like not every piece of it. I know how the railway works, and I know how the system works and all that stuff. I don't know all about the railways, but like I know um, how they move and how they get active so like if you remember watching that stream or that video i i uploaded with the mob yeah hazard absolutely loves it um basically if you're looking at it like a, a railway point of view you're looking at millions and millions of pounds just to keep a railway moving like the seven valley has to get about <laughs> the train nerd yeah, well, like, uh, he probably knew, he probably knows more about, about railways than I do. But uh, a lot of kids actually do not know about railways. That's the strange thing. Like, they don't actually know the golden days of steam. It was not until Victoria times that railways never actually got to work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know which one you're talking about, the the uh, the, rat, the train nerd. Might be from Alabama or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's funny though? Right, I'm going to see if I can get up there. Ow. It does. Now, to be fair, he does remind me of it. But he's not like a jerk, do you know what I mean? Like he's not Mr. Know-It-All. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, no, you're all right. He's not. He's helped me with a few things over the years. Like he's taught me a few things. Like he's taught me a fair few things. Not about railways, but like he knows what I'm talking about. Like when we're talking about trains. I mean, like, like we talk about steam. In fact, um, 
me and him, I don't know if you've known in um, a few times in Discord, we actually talk about like railways, uh, not railways, um, editing a few times. Um, like we, we bring out some ideas to help each other out. Yeah, he can be... Oh, sorry, I can't see the rest of the message. What you're seeing on screen is actually what I can see. Sorry. Yeah. So, like, we actually help each other in certain ways, like in um, projects and things like that. He can be extremely helpful, actually. Like, he was... He was helping me with um, OBS, and um, fortunately I'm struggling with OBS at the moment, because I'm still not sure how to do it yet. But it's going to take me like some time before I can, you know, get it to properly... Until I can properly get to use it again. Okay, now I've got that. Okay, I have a feeling how to do it now. But like, we do help each other, like, it's not very often we speak to each other, but like, we do, we do, like, I have a, I have a lot of, like, I'm, I have a massive respect for Harry. I mean, like, yes, he will pee me off occasionally, but we ki we pee each other off all the time. I love him, like, I'm going to be honest with you, I love him like a brother. Like, that is what he's like for me. Yes, he's a stalker to my brother, but that's just... That's just how it is. Like, he'll just join whenever he feels like it. Because he's bored. That's besties for you. They piss you off. Yeah. <laughs> it's because, like, you know, as I said, it's not a bad thing for Hazard. It's just one of them things. He can be annoying, but, like, that's just how he is. You can't change him. No one can. Yeah. I know him all the time. Like, I talk about um, a lot of the um, the other stuff, actually, about, like, um, about, like, his... Um, I talk about his uh, BDSM stuff. It's quite... <laughs> it really annoyed him. I don't even remember. But that was quite annoying. Yeah, they can be. I mean, Owen's annoying. But, like, um, there is things that we are a bit concerned about. Uh, behind the scenes, so hence why we haven't made any streams. We were going to do one tonight, but we've had to talk about a few things this evening, and um, it's a bit concerning. We've had to tell him our point of view. He, he's done it to me before. He's exposed me before. The little shit will do anyway. He got really annoyed with me when I uh, spoke about it years and, like, you're, we're talking, like, a few years ago. But it was quite a funny story. Oh, f I know him a lot better than you do, Kaz. In fact, this is why I say you need to, like, come to Reddit so you can actually um, come and see him. Like, you can come and, um, like, you can come and say hello to them, so you can get a lo so you can get to know them. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny, because, like, I was watching this video about, actually, I, I'm going to talk about this for, like, from a, a man point of view. Like, like, I don't know if you know about this, Kaz, but there's been, like, there has been, like, people talking about, like, um... Um, women talking about the differences between relationships with men and women. And there's been a lot of, like, misogyny about it, like, about men and women, basically. And it's quite, it's actually really shocking. Like, I was, like, I was watching this online. And I guess where it's all based as well is in fucking America, too. But basically, hear me out when I say this. This is really strange yeah it's weird isn't it like they were saying that they were saying that it's um that women have like different ways of of like you know like oh why do men do this why do men do that i'm just like thinking 
For starters, it's a per. A lot of the guys I watch on YouTube, like. Yeah. No, not all Americans are like that. No. No, I agree. But, like, there is women out there, and men too, that are very misogynistic against each other. The reason why there's a thing against men is because of what men did to women. That is why there's a law about having a law for women to use. But nowadays, they're like, women are kind of abusing that power. Like, some of the women, I mean, this is what I'm saying, like, some of the women will abuse that power. In fact, anybody who would remember my Twitter from, like, you're looking at, like, probably 2013 to 14. And like, sorry, f no, not 14, um, 17, uh, 16, 17, I had two girlfriends at the time, and I'm not saying like, at not at the same time, just saying at the time. So I had like, so after I, um, I lost Scarlett, uh, after a not a very nice conversation, because uh, that's how it ended. The old with uh, men catch ship. No, no, it's, I'm talking about college time. Um, so basically, I remember, like, I remember being with this girl called Sarah. And this girl was, like, saying, oh, if you, you leave me, um, like, if you, um, you cheat on me, I will go to, like, uh, I will do everything in my power to, like, uh, to not have you see my children. That is scary. Like, that's a weapon. It's so like if I ever had children, she would use that against me, mentally destroying me. Yeah, like that's how scary it is. And there's lots of women who would do that. It's quite scary. As I said, it's really scary because like, like they use sex as a weapon, and they would use children as a weapon too. Like. You know, to mentally attack them. Do you know, that is actually kind of one of the reasons why I don't, I'm not kind of dating at the moment. I wish I was, but I don't, in a sense. It's quite sad because, like, I want to date, like, women. But, like, it just, it, I have a lot of reasons why I don't want to date. Like, for a man, like from a man's point of view, there's things that women, yeah, they can, yeah, relationships can suck. And I'm not saying, as I said, as I said, I am not a misogynist. I know I keep saying about women, but I'm going to say the same thing about men. But basically, I don't think women actually, in my view, really understand the the men's point of view of like you know the sexuality and um the appropriate end of the circle so you're like you're, you're kind of looking at behaviors at the same time yeah i know where you're going with that you cheeky shit <laughs> The point is, like, when you're looking at, when you're looking at relationships, for example, it is sad because, like, men can use anything as a weapon. And unfortunately, I, am um, I don't talk to one of the girl, like, all my girls now, like, all the girlfriends I used to have. Um, I tried to, like, um, the, last year I tried to reason with my ex about a lot of things but she's just too fearful of me and yeah but one of my exes um got quite angry with me on um on facebook and um i don't always use facebook like very often but um I used to talk, I used to occasionally talk to them, in, like, in a sense, like, just to catch up how they're doing and all that stuff, and, 
Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I used to do as well. Um, but unfortunately, one of them got nasty with me um, after I had a like a strange dream, and it was not a it was not a dream that I was expecting. Hmm. She kind of pushed me away after I, after wanting to be friends with me, which I agreed to be friends with her, but she pushed herself away from me and she's got nasty with me ever since. And she got nasty with me when I had a dream about her and myself. And it was a weird dream, but basically like... <sighs> she won't see this anyway, but basically what happened is in about... About, a month, about nearly a month ago, or just around a month ago. Uh, no, it was two months ago, sorry. Um, I remember having this dream where, like, I was um, basically in a, in a, like, a, this big hill like location. But the best way I could put it, it was like, it was like Le Mont Saint Michel, which in English um, is. Saint Ma uh, Saint Michael's. Um, in other words, I was talking French, and it was like that. But it was a, it was weird because it was like a giant city, whereas like the Le Mans Saint Michel isn't a city; it was more of a village, like a very small village. And this village was like very, very tall, like very, very small, um, like for like hotels like small restaurant cafes etc and at the very top you've got this um cathedral massive cathedral but in my dream this cathedral i had four massive cathedrals all stacked on one each other which is weird don't ask me why but I had like hundreds of different like set locations and this this dream basically the best way I could describe it and it's amazing I could, I could still remember it because I remember before even waking up I had to remember it because I was like thinking oh my god like what was this dream telling me and basically I realized over time that the walls represent my inability um, of being, like, showing my... I'm basically very insecure a lot of, about a lot of things nowadays. So, like, since the incident with, like, with my ex, uh, Roxy, or no, West Lorna, um... I've become very, very insecure about people, myself, family, everything. I've just, I, I just don't see myself as a um, very capable person. So hence why I just don't see a relationship right now. I don't see it right now as a means to help, but also to keep me going I am too energetically weak to push those boundaries and do it again but also what's what scared me the most is that I thought I was helping but I wasn't I was making it worse but she wasn't very clear about it, and that's kind of what upsets me the most, is that she wasn't very clear about it. So every time I bring up about relationships, she gets defensive and aggressive. And I talked about, like, basically Ella from, like, years ago. And it was quite sad, actually, because, like... This was the first time I ever actually mentioned it, like, to people, like, years ago. And 
I don't know if you saw this on Facebook years ago, like a fair few years ago, about, no, about a year ago, and I mentioned it, and then um, she got really mad at me and told me to go fuck myself, basically. And this was the this was the second time I got I, like I got she got nasty with me and sent me those nasty texts. She was going to even send me one. Um, no, I don't blame you. Um, so like, so basically, what happened is because I haven't used Facebook in a long time. To be fair, I use it occasionally, but it's not very often. Basically, um, I then like. I was trying to like patch things up, but she won't patch it with me because she's too insecure to do it. She's too scared, and I know she's too scared of me because when I was younger, I was too naive to see the signs. And this is the trouble with being autistic. You don't see it. You can't see what people see when you're, when you have autism, you can't see see what's there you can't see the damage you can't see the the mentality of it you don't you, you just don't see anything being autistic is like literally being like it's like literally being in this fantasy world what you're seeing on the screen that is literally what it is it's like this it's like being in a playground that is literally what it's like floating robots with balloons it's literally what it is it is so like, I can connect, like, it is frustrating, this this level, but, like, don't get me wrong, it is so unbelievably realistic. And it's, it's shocking. Like, that is what scares me the most about, about it. Like, that is what scared me. That is why I don't have a relationship anymore, because I've realised that I am too scared. Like, I am genuinely too scared to admit to my own failures. Like, yes, I admit I've done quite a fair few wrong things. I have tried to make it right. And I have in the past two years. But, like, I am now too insecure to... I'm now too insecure about being the person I am. I am too insecure about a lot of things. Like, when it comes to friends, it doesn't matter. But if it comes to, like, women, or, like, other people that have a crush on me, I will not, I will not allow them near me. I just will not do it. Like, if it's friends, like, like, girly friends, okay, different story. But, like, if it's a man's point of view, like, if it's from a different point of view, like like friends, for example, okay, that's not a bad thing. But like, do you see where I'm going with this? Like, it, it's it's sad, isn't it? That is what it's like for me. That is how scared I actually am. I'm scared of my own self, and a lot of people don't really see that as like it is. That's kind of why I'm a bit more depressed than I should be. Like, nowadays, I'm actually quite a, a depressed gentleman, actually. I'm a very depressed man, and I hate being depressed. And I hate admitting it, but that is... That is an issue that I can't admit. Like, I want to admit, but that is reality I have to live with. So, you know, like... As much as I sound like I am a, a dickhead or anything else like that, just remember that, and I'm sure you're going to like think, oh, um, oh I'm racist and all that stuff. I'm oh, sorry, mate. Well, I'm sorry, mate. Like, I'm not racist. But like, I'm not someone who would, you know, become this horrible piece of shit that people claim me to be. It's wrong. I know, and but those comments that me and you saw with Has the other day, that that shocked me.
like the fact that that's what people think about us is is quite sad. We've already got haters. Oh, fuck's sake. I just... The best way for me is that I just... I just like, yeah, I'll block them, but like... Yeah. For fuck's sake. This mission is so frustrating. Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree. I'm gonna go to another stage collection because like this is this bounce man is just driving me mad. I don't like bounce man. And I think I can understand why some people actually script it, change it. 2023, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. It is sad, I ain't gonna lie. No, I don't... The thing is, it is sad because there is a chance we will actually have like... Uh, we will have like people who are going to be cruel. I think when they said, I think one of those people that called us racist, Kaz, I think that was one of your haters actually thinking about it. Attack it. Fuck. to get and uh, keep that rubbit at uh, that um that owl alive yeah like you don't do that i know you cares and that's the thing like i know you won't do that that's the sad reality of it
I think it's despicable that people actually think what they want to believe. And it is... It is extremely... Sad. Got it right in the face! <laughs> Porno is all the way! <laughs> Yeah. Like I said, Kaz, it does upset me when people do this. Holy fuck! That was faster than I thought. Oh, you bastard! Yep, too fast. People just like to be miserable, don't they? They like to be happy because how they want to ha have a happy life is to ruin others. And that is what it is. Tell me about it, Kaz. Thank you, buddy. Kirby in hell. <laughs> Don't blame me for saying that. Is what? Is that Joe? Cheeky that? What? Oh, 
Oh, I was there. Ah, fair enough. Fuck's sake! No shit, Kaz! <laughs> Fucking hell! This bit of the mission is horrible. Just thought I had some progress. I'm gonna die again. Yep. Yep. Thank God. I should say that I have not enough um What the fuck is that about? Sort of, cuz. I have to now fight this bastard. Why do you sound like a um a Japanese man all of a sudden? Like, what the fuck? Sounds like a Japanese master. Oh my god. He's using fire punches, that's hilarious. Well, at least I'm ready now. Yeah! 
Yay! Yay! <sighs> Fun fuck. Torch man completed. Blazing Torch. Ooh. Ah. Impressive. Yeah, it's um, it's a thing that you can do in uh, in Mega Man. It's, you've always done Mega Man's always done this. It's basically, to make you stronger. I would not be surprised if they're actually like they're kind of like relative companies that tried doing something like this before. Okay, so I've done Torchman and Impact. Yeah, I'm going to leave this for tonight. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I'm going to leave this for tonight because uh, the past few nights I've actually had a bit of a not very good night. Um, so I've been kind of resting all day, to be honest. If you like it, uh, and fine. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. I'm not sure you can do that with, um, yeah, could be, maybe similar, yeah, I could say that, but yeah, like, as I said, um, I'm going to leave it for the night, as I said, I were, we were going to, like, do something tonight, but, um, it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening now, so, I'm, um, as I said, I'm going to leave this for this evening, and, um, get ready for some uh, for some sleep for tonight. Because I actually feel tired. So, yeah. Thanks, Kaz. And, um, like I say, I've, um, I've got a lot of plans on my, uh, gaming channel. Uh, which is, um, EMH Chesby Shadow. So, guys, in case you guys don't know, um, I am basically... I'm going to continue doing content on my channel. Um, so far, I haven't seen a lot of things happening on the, the north side. I know there's a video coming out soon, uh, so you guys stick around for that. Uh, keep an eye on your um, your notifications, guys, because uh, we they are the lads have announced want to announce something, and they want to um, release it soon. Um, so, that's what's happening, um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have had, uh, oh, sorry, <sighs> I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next stream, mob out, or Ben out, whatever, <laughs> good night, guys.